What's going on, everyone? This is Richard from Nothing But Nostalgia. Back at it again with another one. And of course, we're trying out another new game. Uh, this is going to be Driver Parallel Lines from 2006, playing on the Xbox. Um, so, in my personal opinion, I think Driver was definitely a very, very underrated game. Man, you know I'll put it up my... This. My previous I game. Ask you for a uh, I think Driver is definitely an undefeated game. Red. Very underrated. Um, you know, like, yeah, they did kind of copy, like, the GTA format, you can say. But the thing is, it's like, they... Oh, let's still continue. Like, but they did it in their own way. And I think, to be honest, they did it in a very unique way. Let's see. Let's go and start a new game. Do you want to create a new profile? Yes. We'll create a new one. We'll do this one. Nothing under, nothing but nostalgia. But yeah, they definitely did this in their own way. And I think it's very unique. You know, like they did something like this. I think they have Driver 3, which is... They say that's like a really bad game, in my personal opinion. I think it's pretty good. I mean, the, like the gameplay is kind of... It's one of those games where it's like it's, it's kind of bad where it's still good, you know? <laughs> and those are, my, of course, my favorite type of games. Same with my movies. But anyways... um. No, I think the Driver series was actually pretty good. Um, very, very underrated. And I never played this one, though, Driver Parallel Lines. So we're going to see, you know, hopefully this is a good game. Hopefully it's if it's bad, then, you know, then, you know, sucks to suck. We're just going to have to suck it up. But, I mean, if it's good, awesome. You know, I know I heard this one actually is a pretty decent one, though compared to all the ones that are out but yeah the ones that I've only beat was driver 1 2 and driver 3 um I didn't beat the second one I'm sorry I played the second one I beat the first and third one and I beat um uh, driver San Francisco I was new to the big apple just a country boy looking to make good but a few weeks and it felt like home I knew every street every avenue every blind alley I was 18 years old and growing up as fast as I could I had a room up in Hunts Point over Ray's Auto Store. I had work, doing a little debt collection for the Carlotti brothers, or knocking out liquor stores. And if I needed more, all I had to do was head down to one of Joe's diners and take money off the racer boys, or maybe hit one of the circuits. From New Jersey to Queens, from the Bronx down to the Battery, this was my patch, my backyard. Nice. Yeah, I know one thing that Driver was really, really well known for was the driving physics. And I know at the time, especially, like when it came out on the PlayStation 1, the physics were pretty top-notch. And even, like, I wouldn't really say the graphics, but, you know, leaning towards that, they definitely did a really, really good job. Um, like, you know, when you crash, like, you see, like, parts of your car so flying off and stuff. It, it, it's definitely a very interesting yeah, game for it being, you, you know, uh, during the time of release. I was a wheel man, and I was the best. Get what you came for? Fucking move, kid! Hmm, so I'm guessing I play as a wheel man. Oh, damn. Alright, so like I said, I've never played this one, so I'm learning these controls as we go. Oh, look, they have like a legit speedometer. Let's see, at the bottom right shows the mini-map and any heat you have for on-foot crimes. Oh! Oh damn, these guys are shooting at me. Yeah, but these these physics actually feel pretty good. They definitely stack up to like today's standards to be honest. I'm actually really impressed. Yeah, I know I said I haven't uh I haven't played this game. Um when I first started the video, I mean for those of you who haven't seen or watching the YouTube video, I did start up a previous account, but that's when I was going to try it out. And I think I just did like the very first mission 
or like very first like couple minutes of it but then I stopped it so like it's saved under I still saved it but yeah I technically I technically played it but I haven't even I haven't even gotten into the nitty-gritty but uh, it says right here the mini map shows cops and objectives use it to find the drop-off point okay what is the oh there's the emergency brake that's what I was looking for Seems that, sounds like they're going to have a pretty good soundtrack, too. The bottom left corner shows your speed and any heat you have for driving offenses. Oh, okay. Interesting. So they have two different heat levels. One for on foot and one for driving. You like this part of the city? I definitely like the fact that they have the speedometer, though. That's, that's a nice touch. I think one other game that I know that does that is uh, Mafia 2. I think, oh, even Mafia 3. And I love that. I don't think Mafia 3, you don't have to put gas in. But Mafia 2, if you want to keep your cars, you definitely have to put gas in them. I thought that was a cool touch. I know it's a little, might be a little, uh, you know, excessive. But I think it's pretty cool. Let's see. So let's go ahead. Oh, go down this alley. All right. Cool. Oh, I was like, wait, did that not count? This is where I disappear. Where's my cup, buddy? Oh, only a hundred bucks, really. My gas probably costs more than that. Let's see, get to Hunt's place. So I'm guessing my guy's name is Hunt. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, at the time of this recording, though, I really hope you guys are doing really well as far as, like, quarantine-wise. I know it's definitely a kind of depressing time. I mean, like, well, it could be depressing, but, you know, there's always a positive to a negative, guys. Always remember that. You know, just stay positive. And for all my gamers, you know, just catch up on all your video games. It's, like, the best thing to do. I've been playing a lot of games lately myself. I've been playing my Switch, Animal Crossing, all that good stuff. And I'm actually learning how to stream too. So if you guys catch me on twitch.tv forward slash uh, nothing but nostalgia, you guys will be able to see me uh, you know, stream some video games. Oh, action camera? Shit, that was pretty tight. Sorry, I'm messing with the buttons as I'm talking. <laughs> some slow-mo action though. Ooh, let's bust that. 360. Reverse it. Oh, I'm about to crash. <laughs> and then back out. Go, 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 go. Wow. That's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Play some video games. Stay positive. You know, just keep yourself busy. You know, sometimes I catch myself bored, but I have 12 consoles at my disposal right now that I can play games off of. You know, I'm just making excuses. I just, just got to do it, you know. Oh, damn. Alright, so it looks like we're arriving at the garage. Kind of hidden back here. Oh, oh. So, got to Hunt's place. Back home, Ray was the guy everyone wanted to be. Hit New York in 75. Became a wheel man. Then had a wipeout, never drove again. Damn, that's a tight car. It almost looks like a challenger. Cars and doing tune-ups when he wasn't losing at cards. <laughs> You're reading a nudie magazine? It says jazz. But I swore I saw nudity right there. I just fixed you up with a shot at the big time. What? Walking on the beach is looking at the beach. Pretty impressive cinematics though too for the time. I just fixed you up with a shot at the big time. Thanks, but no thanks. So keep working nickel and dime stores. I don't need your help, Ray. Uh, I don't think it is. Well, yeah, that definitely is. Oh, there you go. The funky rabbit. Slink. 
I'm already liking this game a lot. You slink? I'm the driver. What I hear, you just a taxi service for punks. I do okay. This dude's got the whole strip club to himself, though. Stereos, color TVs in every room, wall to wall, pussy. <laughs> you want to be somebody? Ooh, that's good, baby. Do that again. No, do it slower. I need a driver. All the credentials at the wheel and a zipper in his mouth. What's in it for me? Kid, I'll pave your path with gold and lead your lucky white ass to the promised land. <laughs> if you stop I'll think about it. What are you gonna think about it? Your door, kid. It ain't gonna wait forever. Seriously. Audition's over, baby. Tell the next little lady to slide on out. Oh. So he's definitely the owner. Let's see, when you see this icon, you've been paged with a new job. Let's see, check your map for the start location. Select this for a low down <laughs> on the job. Huh. So it looks like you can free roam in this game a little bit. Which is pretty cool. How do you. S oh, I guess I just go here. Hey, man, Slink here. About that opportunity. There's a set of wheels to my name beached up in Hunts Point. Go collect it and fix it up. Consider this your interview. Then we'll talk some more. Hmm. Alright. So, wheel man. Collect the wrecked ride. Uh, get it back to Ray's. Fix it up and take it for a spin. I guess I'll just take this car. For now. Oh. Where am I going? There we go. Yeah, these physics are pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Especially for it being a, a, t a game in 2006. I mean, it's not that old, you think about it. I mean, like, Project Gotham was pretty good. Uh, Forza, I think Forza 1 was already out, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on it, though, but I believe it was. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the newer games definitely knew what they were going towards. So it looks like... Hiding down this alleyway right here. There it is. Damn, this car's fucking thrashed. Get it to raise and don't wreck it. Shit's already wrecked, bruh. Oh. Oh, I just smashed it. A lot of power on it, though. I like that all the cars have their own, uh... Oh shit. Well, oh, just told me not to wreck it. I just fucking wrecked it. Alright, so let's go and retry this. Oh, there's some more cars over here. Let's take this convertible. Oh, sorry, lady. Or a guy. Whatever that was. That thing sounds like it's gonna fucking break. But look at they even have like a like a legit mile gauge down there. Eleven miles? That's crazy. Like just like the little details in that. Like I love it. So let's go ahead and oh, shit, Jesus! He didn't have to do that. <laughs> Just fucking jumped out. I like the interior. Looks pretty clean. Also, oh, that's how you. So you can switch your camera views. Of course, you got the action shot. Ooh. There is a jump right here. Low key, want to try to hit it. Fuck it. I'm going to do it. Here we go. Oh. Damn, slow motion. Oh, did I miss it? 
Oh shit. I hate swimming. Okay. Again. <laughs> God, that's so bad. This is the same car. This is literally the same exact car I'm getting. This one has 13 miles. I don't know what the miles do. I, like, I wonder if it's just literally just a, kind of, like, a little showcase. I wonder if it has any effect on the vehicle itself. Like the duration of it. You know, sometimes like the more miles you have, the more broken down it can get or something. I don't know. I guess we'll just find out the more we play the game. Pretty sick concept though already, I'm already digging it. Yep, it's literally the same fucking car. Okay, no jumps, no nothing. There we go. A little bit of throttle control, this one has 14 miles, god damn it. Guess we'll take the long way home. I'm going to show you how things work around here. This is where the magic happens. Up here is where we keep track of current vehicle conditions like heat, damage, and any nitros you've got. Over here is where we deal with the vehicle characteristics like hmm. handling, acceleration, and top speed. You also get the vehicle name here and what you got to spend on it here. Right. Let's start by putting this heap of junk back together. So repair... Interesting. So uh, out on the street, you're gonna pick up some heat. I know you're good, but it will happen. So listen up. If you can make it back here without a tail, I can clean things up. Give it a try. <laughs> Clear felony? What the hell, really? Okay, good. So now we got something that's not gonna fall apart on you. I know Slink though, and he's gonna want to see a bit of style too. So I got just what you need right here. Test track. Damn, it's actually pretty tight. This thing is very, uh... Wow. I'm actually pretty impressed. I got plenty of spare parts lying around, and since you caught me on a good day, you can have one for free. Just this time. Take what you want. So what can I get? Bulletproof tires, tinted glass, bulletproof glass. I do. I feel like tires would be the important one. Okay, kid, that's enough. I got a business to run. You want more? Come back when it's not on the house. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's jazz these wheels up. I got the best range of paints in town, so pick your color. Let's get this like a solid white. Okay, kid, you can always change your mind later on. Performance I also know a guy parts. Custom paint job, some special. real psychedelic stuff, but he's out of town today. You've done well. That's a sweet ride you got there. I'm impressed. You got an ear for the technical stuff, though? Slink is going to want a fast car, so we have to tune this engine for more power. Take a look around, though, and see what else we can do for you. Uh, so You're going to be doing like... plenty of work on plenty of cars in this cool. garage. You can keep your wheels here, and I'll keep a log of the work you do. If you bust your ride, I'll tow what's left of it back for you. You can drop by any of my places to pick it up. Yeah, I know. I'm too good to you. That's pretty tight. Sorry, I, I was like really distracted with that, uh, with the guy's voice. He like low key really s reminds me of, uh, uh, like Ray Liotta. Hold on, kid. Oh, so I can't do it. Okay, so exit garage. So this car's officially mine. So that's pretty cool. And I upgraded the hey, kid. Ray, engine a little bit. You, man. Slink. Yeah, <laughs> you got the golden touch, kid. These wheels are looking fly, Ray. Do us the honors and wire up the CB. You bet. We gonna be talking on that? We gotta stay in touch for a little while, kid. See, I needs to know you got the expertise I'm requiring. Three of my guys have themselves speed guns yours truly procured from the city police. Hmm. At first, you gotta hit 60. At the second, 70. And at the third, I wanna see you hit at least 100. You got the balls to do that, kid. Should be pretty easy. Uh, past the first speed gun at 60 miles per hour. Okay. 
Damn, we got some war in the background. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like this game. I can already tell. Damn, got that motion blur going on in the background. Let me look at these settings really quick. See what we can do. Maybe... Let's see. Motion blur. So, uh, I wish I could take it off. Speed effects, vibration. Yeah, because I don't want... So, there's a lot of motion... I already took out the motion blur. Crash effects. I definitely want the crash. Speed effects. I don't think I want those. Make it make the game run a little smoother, if you know what I mean. Bump up that music a tiny bit. All right. Okay, now it's saving. But uh, So, we got to hit that first checkpoint. 60 miles per hour. Here we go. Hell yeah, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. Okay, so at 70 miles per hour. I'm guessing we just keep going this way. Oh! Damn, yeah, this is like, these kind of, these graphics are like, this engine's very, very similar to, uh, Driver 3. Oh, shit. That was a cop. And they don't really have, like, waypoints either. You know, like, sometimes, like, it, it kind of shows you, like, where to go. It's like, they tell you, like, the general idea where it's at. But it's up to you, like, you're just supposed to decide where to go. Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. I can't go that way. Fuck. I'm going the wrong way too. Eee! There we go. Okay, so this checkpoint's that way. So as if I just cruise on by, because there's a cop right there. Really? Maybe just because I have heat on my car already? I gotta hit 70 miles per hour. Oh, I got this. Oh, yeah. Very easy. Cool. Oh, yeah. I like Ooh. that. Last one at 100. Sheesh. I'm out of here. Oh, damn. My bad. I got just kind of walked it off. No problem. All right, I got to hit 100. Oh. Perfect. Drift. I like what you're giving me, kid. I want to see some more of what you got. Oh, then you can keep the wheels. Do what you like with them. Over. Okay, so I get in touch on a landline, huh? I'm going to lose the set of dials. I feel like I'm in that convoy movie. Uh, over and out. You impress Link. Awesome. So I guess the car's not a hundred percent mine yet. Looks like there's another mission I can hit. Ooh. So like this game, we kind of have to take care of your car. Then I'm, I'm assuming, because I mean, at least as far as what the guy said. At the garage, they, they can keep track of your like how damaged your car is, and it seems like you have to pay to repair it. Damn, these cops are pretty good. Ooh, there we go. I'm trying to lose these guys. Come on. Oh, jeez, I'm fucked. I wish we had a, like, a gauge or something to see how damaged the car is. I know it's pretty damaged, though. My car's already fucking smoking, Jesus. Alright. So now we're just kind of cruising onto the other side of the map. Just to kind of get a... I guess we can start that other mission and see what's going on. But I think that this is a, another slink mission. I need another car, though. This is not going to work. Unless there's a repair shop over there. Maybe I can take care of it that way. Tight. Okay. 
Oh, there's a cop already coming on the other side. Oh! Damn. So I guess there's like literally no way of like getting rid of these guys like officially unless you clear your felony. Oh, there's another cop car over there. Fuck. I was like, oh, that cop's not even gonna turn his lights on. Oh, dude, they're fucking me up. Sparking. Oh, it's my bumper. I need to find a, another car pretty soon. i to lose my very first car. Oh! Damn, they just hit someone. I'm just going, weaving through traffic. Ooh. Oh, damn. <laughs> I can push it into someone. Oh, this is not good. See, that was the cop's fault. That wasn't my fault. Okay, that was my fault. Oh, just taking a shortcut, cutting through the grass. Damn, how far is this place? I feel like I've been driving forever. Oh, my car. I can't even... Jesus. I thought going in first person mode would be able to see through the fog. And we just made it worse. Okay. Cool. So hopefully I can repair my car here or something. Or if I start a mission over repair. There's only one way to find out, right? Cool, so I'm about to pull up. I think I have to go to the other side of this building. There it is. I actually have to stop in it. Okay, kid, this is Slate. You know what this is about. Come meet me at the power station on Long Island. I gotta put you through your paces with the steel. Be sure you can handle yourself if you ever get in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see. So, gunman. Learn to lock on. Steady staffing. Oh, study staffing. Practice marksmanship, master driving, and shooting. Alright. Glad you could make it, kid. Okay. First thing, let's check you got the basics down now that you got yourself cornered by some mean-looking barrels. Squeeze the trigger. Don't go snatching at it. Let's see, face the barrels and pull the left trigger to draw your weapon. Let's see, holding the left trigger, moving the right joystick to select the target, pull the right trigger to shoot. That's it, kid. And the rest. Lock on to the mark barrel, kid. Oh yeah! Let's cool. go for something a little bigger. Let's see, staffing or strafing, sorry. I want to see Hornet slamming into that car front, back, and sides. Uh, let's see. Pull the left trigger to hold your gun, or draw your gun, then face the car, pull, and hold. So basically, aim and move the left stick to run around it. Oh, so I can lock on and I can run. Pretty cool. What do I do? Just keep shooting at or something? Bam! 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 Oh, there you go. Okay, so I was supposed to shoot it. Marksmanship. Let's see what we got to do here. Okay, so far so good. Let's see if you got any accuracy with that thing. Can you take out that car's tires from what we are? Let's see, enter free aim mode. Which one's that one? Oh. I have to cross here with a tire and pull. Can I still move? Oh, I can. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Really bad physics, though.
So I'm supposed to get the tires. Nice. Oh, there you go. Now do the other tire. Okay. The car's hot anyhow, so waste it. Then we'll go for a drive. Waste the hot car. Oh, shit. Bam! I got one more job for you. Okay. So, yeah, the free aim is the tough okay. one. See the guy in the car up ahead? He's been and got his sorry ass the wrong side of Slink. And you're going to convince him that's a bad place to be. I want to see what you learned so far today. Waste his punk ass wheels without ramming it. Just use the heater. Hmm. So press X to lock on. And then while locking on, you just tap A to shoot. It's not too bad. Just gotta keep shooting him. Oh! Better keep your ears open. I'm gonna be calling your ass when some work comes in. Take it easy, kid. Oh, and you can hold on to the shooter. Raise a man to see if you need some more bullets for that thing. Damn. I thought he was just gonna pull over. I didn't think I was gonna fucking blow him up. Holy shit. Man, you uh -oh. know I hate doing this, but I gotta ask you for a contribution. Help keep this garage out of the red and help me with a few debts I got on the side. There's all kinds of opportunities to earn some green in New York. Keep your eyes peeled for these signs around the city. Each one is paid there if you got the skills. Truth is, I need $1,500. Get anything on top of that and you can work on your rides or pick up ammo in any of my places. But I could do with it pretty soon, kid. Some of the people I owe, they don't like being owed. Damn. <laughs> Pay Ray. So I have to earn $1,500 for rent and get the cash back to whatever that is. Alright, but this is definitely a, a perfect way to end this episode. But I appreciate you guys tuning in and just keep tuning in for some more episodes like this, though. I'm super excited to play this game. But till then, guys, peace.